So to sum up what the biggest macro trade of all time is, it's crypto going from 2.7 trillion where we are today to let's say 12 trillion by the end of this cycle and onto 100 trillion within 10 years. And you've got to understand this would be the fastest accumulation of an asset class in all recorded history in the shortest period of time. It'll have driven the highest returns of any asset class in all of recorded history in the shortest period of time. In fact, in any period of time, it will be the fastest accumulation of wealth the world has ever seen in the shorter period of time. Like other crypto enthusiasts, Raoul Pal, renowned macro analyst and former Goldman Sachs executive, is exceedingly bullish on crypto asset prices in 2024 and 2025. Before the cycle ends, he predicts that the overall crypto market cap will hit a new all-time high of $12 trillion, which is about quadruple the current range of $2.65 to $2.7 trillion. This will easily take individual crypto prices to new all-time highs. Pal's target for Bitcoin is that it hits at least $200,000 before the cycle ends in 2025. Such massive increases in Bitcoin's prices will of course spread to other cryptocurrencies. This is why Pal is even more bullish on top crypto assets like Ethereum and Solana. The former Goldman Sachs executive predicts that Ethereum will top this cycle at $8,000 per token and Solana at $1,000 per token. Pal is generally bullish on all crypto assets and technological stocks, which he describes as the only true winners of the exponential age. According to Pal, crypto is by far the best investment opportunity that has ever been given to retail investors. Not only does it present a rare opportunity for retail investors to get ahead of fiat currency debasement, but it also provides a leveling opportunity that can never be found with other asset classes. We will now bring you clips from Pal's recent video broadcast as he delves into his predictions and outlook for the cryptocurrency industry in 2024 and beyond. But before we do, please take a little time to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications for more videos like this. You can also join the conversation by dropping your comments and observations in the comments section below. Everything you do helps with the YouTube algorithm and immensely contributes to the channel's growth. Thanks and enjoy the video. And what we saw is the internet, which was the fastest adoption of technology the world had ever seen. It grew at 76% a year and then slowed down after year eight to 43% a year. Crypto has been growing at 137% a year. It's now at 516 million users versus 187 million of the internet at the same stage. And then what we did is assume that crypto just slows down its growth to the same as the internet. I don't think that's going to happen. I think it'll be faster. But it gets by um, 2025, the end of 2025, we get to 1.1 billion users. So that'll be double the pace that the internet grew. And because this is a network, and the tokens are at your participation in the network, they go up a lot. It's as simple as that. It's Metcalfe's law. So when you've got the biggest technological trend of any asset class in all of history, you're going to make a lot of money if that trend continues. This is why it's the biggest macro trend of all time. But it goes on. If we look out further using the internet adoption growth, and we slow down the trend rate of growth of crypto to the same as the internet going forwards, we get to 4 billion users by 2030. That's half the world's population. Now, will this be perfect? It's been pretty perfect so far. I've been showing this chart for five years now, but let's assume not. Either way, these numbers are simply staggering. And that's why you get that log chart of Bitcoin over time because it's the adoption curve is what you're seeing, which is why the sell-offs, even though they, they sound terrifying, down 75%, are just blips in the overall trend. And over time, it just keeps compounding growth. You see, to show how starkly this compounds growth, this chart um, of all of the asset markets since 2011, I think is, is hilarious. So you've got the usual NASDAQ, blah, blah, blah. So we can look, ignore the top three for a second. NASDAQ, 17%, beating the debasement, that 12% number, and compounded 800% since 2011. 
That's a good investment. What a great investment the NASDAQ's been. Then we go up. Look at the top, Bitcoin. Bitcoin, every three years, is the worst performing asset. Every, the next three years, in a row, it's the best performing asset in the world. And even with the drawdowns, those scary drawdowns that everybody hates, it's compounded 20 million percent returns. Since we started talking about Bitcoin on Real Vision in 2014, it's up 450,000%. Its annualized return is 139%. Uh, that, that's mind blowing, right? We've never, ever in history been given an asset like this. But when you go out the risk curve a bit to newer crypto, getting up the risk curve, getting up the adoption curve. Well, in 2016, out comes Ethereum. Out of the gate, monster returns. Huge drawdowns. Compounding returns, 364,000%. Annualized at 149%, which is better than Bitcoin. Solana came last cycle. Again, came out of the gate, fell 94%. What are the compounded returns? 7,713%, which is 200% a year. Right, so there is no asset class in all of history that's ever performed like this, even with the drawdowns. This is why I keep saying to people, you just want to buy and hold them. And if you can make the right switch amongst the big ones as the next big network gets adoption, you'll make even more compound returns. Right, this is the biggest gift we've ever been given as investors. And it's the biggest macro trade of all time. To further show the immense opportunity crypto presents in 2024 and beyond, PAL shares a chart, which was previously shared by Jurian Timmer, the director of macro at Fidelity Investments last November. In Timmer's words, the chart puts Bitcoin's volatility in perspective by showing the risk reward chart for the pandemic slash post pandemic era between 2020 and 2023. It shows the risk versus reward ratio for several asset classes and alternative asset classes, including gold, cash, treasury inflation protected securities, tips, USD, global, and US 6040, and the S&P. The S&P index leads the pack, but it becomes immediately inconsequential when Bitcoin is added to the pack. It is a completely different universe of its own. This is a chart of the risk versus return ratio of several other assets minus Bitcoin. And here is one with Bitcoin. The leading cryptocurrency is clearly in a class of its own. Let's get back to Pal's video as he speaks further about the immense opportunities we've been given through cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Here is another clip from the video. Let's go back to the risk reward topic. Here's Yuri and Timmer's chart that I've stolen from him. Um, which is on the left is all of the bubbles of risk rewards of assets and how they look. Pretty typical. And this is how asset allocators think about it. But when you add in Bitcoin, you end up with a massive blank page with at the very top right, this alien risk reward, which is Bitcoin. Crypto is a complete alien in, in terms of performance and risk reward. This chart includes the drawdown of 2022. So you see, again, I keep saying it's a gift and people still don't really understand what a gift it is. It's something unlike anything we've ever had in history. And it gives us a hell of a chance to make money. So to sum up what the biggest macro trade of all time is, it's crypto going from 2.7 trillion where we are today to let's say 12 trillion by the end of this cycle and on to 100 trillion within 10 years. And you've got to understand this would be the fastest accumulation of an asset class in all recorded history in the shortest period of time. It'll have driven the highest returns of any asset class in all of recorded history in the shortest period of time. In fact, in any period of time, it will be the fastest accumulation of wealth the world has ever seen in the shorter period of time. If we go and generate 90, 90 odd trillion in wealth in the next 10 years, 
to put that number in perspective, because we're all getting bored of such big trillion numbers, that is, the S&P 500 is $50 trillion. That is the accumulated worth of all the companies that have succeeded and failed and grown over time, driven by the US economy, it, over the last 100 years. It's $50 trillion. It's double that. And you're going to do it in 10 years. It's a global wealth shock on a scale never seen before in history. It's like all of the baby boomers coming in and saving all at the same time in 10 years, their entire life savings, plus all of China coming in from the WTO as that opened and the wealth that generated, plus India opening up, plus all the Russians added together and probably doubled. Right, This is the scale of what could happen here. Assume Raoul is a moron. It's always a good thing to do. Maybe I'm wrong. Discount me by 50%. Discount by 75%. It's still at 25 trillion. It's one of the largest increases in global wealth the world will have ever seen. This is why it's the big macro opportunity. This is why so many of my friends and colleagues, famous macro people, have just walked out of the old world into the new world because it's like this is the big one. Macro people look for the big trade. You know, it was the subprime crisis, it was all of that. But the returns coming out of this space dwarf all of those opportunities added together. Gone are the days where an incredible macro year would be Paul Tudor Jones up 100%. People in crypto get that regularly. That's a pretty lackluster year. And in fact, you expect to see several hundred percent. So look, it's mind blowing. You might not agree with all of Raoul Pal's ideas, but it is hard to argue with some of the points he has made in this video. The world is changing fast. We are speeding head on toward the exponential age where technology rules every sector. Investors who correctly position themselves now will be a crucial part of that future. That certainly means being a part of the biggest macro opportunity ever, which is exactly what the cryptocurrency industry represents. What do you think about Raoul Pal's interview? Please drop your comments and observations in the comment section below. Also, ensure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Everything helps with the YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching.